Hi, I'm Misty with Mommy Me Portrait Studios based out of Chester, Virginia, and you've come to join me on our kid video series where we come to create, imagine, and discover. Today, we're gonna make homemade granola bars. I love these granola bars. One, I know everything that's in it, and two, it's super easy to do. It is gonna take a little time. This project actually uses the stove and the oven and the refrigerator. Let me start by telling you the tools you're going to need. You're gonna need a medium to large mixing bowl, a small saucepan, measuring cups of all sizes, measuring spoons, spatula, cookie sheet, and something to put your granola bars in. I have a granola bar mold that I use, but you can actually use like a baking dish or a casserole dish to put them in there and put them in the refrigerator and cut them later. So let me tell you the ingredients that you're going to need. So you're going to need two and a half cups of oats, you're gonna need a quarter cup of honey, one quarter cup butter, one third cup brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon salt, three quarters extra mix-in. So if you want to make peanut butter and chocolate chip cookies, you would put three quarters worth, so half and half of each to put it into your mixture. Today we're gonna to use raisins. So I'm gonna have three quarters cup raisin. You're also gonna need a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg for this recipe. Okay, so let's get started. The very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cookie sheet and we're gonna pour our oats on the cookie sheet. And I'm gonna spread them around to get it as thin of a layer as possible because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees, which I've already turned mine on to preheat, and we're gonna kind of roast them for eight to 10 minutes approximately. And I'm gonna put this into the oven. Now while those are in the oven, we're gonna put our ingredients into our saucepan and we're gonna put this on the stove to um, melt together. Okay, so now I've moved my honey, my butter, and my brown sugar all over to the stove area and I'm gonna put them into the pot. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my burner to about medium. Mine is five on my stove, but medium on yours. And we're gonna first add the butter, add that brown sugar in there and our quarter cup of honey. This is what's gonna help our granola bars stick together. When you're cooking on the stove, you wanna make sure that you don't ever leave what you're making, what you're cooking, because things can change very quickly and we don't want it to burn. So we are mixing it all together so you can see kind of a Gooey, a gooey mess. So we're gonna heat this up and we want the sugar to melt. That's our goal. Okay, so now that we've got this really good mixture and all of the sugar is dissolved, we're gonna bring it over here and we're gonna add our raisins. Oatmeal raisins, one of my favorites. We're gonna add our quarter teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add our quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Our half teaspoon of cinnamon. And our one teaspoon vanilla. And we're gonna mix this all up. And I think this is ready. So now we're gonna go get our oats and pour this in. Now this could have been better if we had put it on parchment paper. Would have been a little easier. Do make sure that you know this is really hot. So if you need help holding it, make sure you have somebody else hold it for you while you can get these oats down into your bowl. There we go. All right, now comes the gooey mixing. And you start to see it kind of sticking together. I'm just kind of mashing it in there, kind of turning it over in the bowl. All 
Okay, I think we're ready to put this into our mold. So we're gonna grab our mold. Again, you can use a casserole dish to do this. And we're just gonna scoop it in our mold. If you do the casserole dish, just pour it all in there and flatten it down. You will want to put parchment paper in your casserole dish or cooking spray to make sure it's easy to come out. Okay, so now that we've filled our mold and you have done your casserole dish, we're gonna go ahead and put a lid on top of this. And you can put saran wrap or plastic wrap or aluminum foil over yours and put it in the refrigerator. It needs to be in the refrigerator between two to three hours, then they'll be done and ready to go. And if you have it in a casserole dish, take your knife, just cut it up and serve it to your family. Thanks guys for joining me. I'm glad you were here. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell to get your notifications. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.